Hi everyone. Today I want to show you how to do advanced uh, conditional formatting with just one click. So I think a lot of you would be very familiar with the conditional formatting already, where you um, can uh, highlight cells based on certain values. Uh, but what is an advanced conditional formatting? Um, it, it is something like this. What if you have this kind of um, data set, and then you wanna comp um, you want to compare the value of different columns and then conditional format based on the different um, results. So for example, what if I want to have a red text color if my merit spent column number is different from my um, merit increase recommendation column number? Um, like in a real life case, uh, th this is very possible that, for example, HR would work on the budget and we propose some kind of uh, suggestion based on people's performance rating. We recommend a merit increase, but then managers, when they make decisions, they will be like, oh, I don't really this think this person deserves this much salary increase, or I think this person should really get a salary increase, even that we don't recommend anything. So managers can have the authority to do that um, and we in our data set we want to highlight compare um, compared to another value so this is something that um, I I personally don't know how to use the conditional format function to do because the conditional format function allow you to compare to an absolute value like greater than 10,000 or less than zero but I don't really know how to do highlight cells if you compare to another column and this column actually changes uh, for every single row. Uh, so this is what I'm trying to do here in this video. And I have proposed three scenarios. So comparing these two columns. So first, if um, the merit increase spend is not equal to merit increase recommendation, then we have red taxed color. Um, the next criteria is that, well, if they're not equal and the spend is greater than the recommendation, then we have a yellow fill. Um, this is because I want to control the budget. And then if we recommend zero increase, but then the person manager actually give more uh, salary increase, then we want to apply a black border color to it. Um, if we don't use macro, which is introduced here, then very likely you need to introduce another row and then you compare um, the value of those two col columns and then and then based on this value, you apply this conditional formatting because this is an absolute value. But I'm going to show you with at the end of the video, you will be able to just click this conditional format and then see everything you need to do in the criteria is uh, finished. So how do we do that? Um, to conquer a complex problem, I encourage you to break it into pieces, which is much easier to conquer. So now let's look at the criteria, the first criteria, which is a red tax color if the merit increase band is not equal to merit increase recommendation. So to do this, we um, you really just need to copy the set of code into your uh, Visual Basics. So let's go here. You copy, and I will have the code in the comments um, or the description, so you can just copy and paste. Um, and then you go to the Developer tab. Uh, you go to Visual Basics. You open it, and then just copy and paste here. So you see here, I've already done this. And then basically, after you finish that, just close it. And then you have this bottom for uh, conditional format, um, which if you don't know how to do this, you can go to my Excel macro playlist and then see the first couple videos uh, where I will show you how to create this bottom. I wouldn't repeat here. Um, what you need to do is right click and then go assign macro. And then here you're going to have different macros that you created. What we just created is conditional format one. Basically, you just click it and then you OK it. And then 
boom, this is what you need to do. Um, and here, just briefly introduce to you what the code means. Um, it is essentially a different language, but it is really not that hard. Um, this is basically saying that um, in this sub, we want a conditional format, like let's say the first criteria. So we need to define i, which is the i here as an integer. Uh, and you will see later the I actually refers to the row number. So for example, you see this cell, it is G10. Uh, this cell is G20. Um, and we want to do conditional format for from G10 to G20. So our I can be anything from 10 to 20. And then you activate uh, you activate the active sheet uh, just to make sure the uh, the macro runs on the existing sheet, and then for i equal ten to twenty, which means exactly we want to run this conditional format macro from i ten, from row ten to row twenty, and you can change those numbers for your macro uh, as well. It can be one to a hundred, da, da, da. of course, the more the number, um, the longer time it takes macro to run. Um, and then if range G and I, so you just need to copy this format, but just keep in mind, um, this is essentially saying that, well, if for 10, for if I, equal, I equals 10, um, it's running the loop. So the first loop will be I equal to 10. So if if uh, cell G10 is equal to F10, then we select I the next row, which is I11. And then it runs this, uh, the loop. Um, and if I10, and then we have the else function, which is if um, I G, uh, G10 does not equal to F10, then we apply the font color of VB red, which is red. So really like, um, after you did you do a lot uh, a couple of macro you find this is very close to natural language like it's it's not even hardcore programming and then do remember that after um, this condition close your if you need to end your if and then you go to the next i which is 11 and then it runs it again and then it goes to uh, 12 until it goes to 20 and then at the end you always and the sub, which is like close the whole sub. And then also just at the end, just make sure uh, you need to apply, uh, make sure you assign the right macro to the bottom so you can click on it. Okay, so we have done the first criteria. The second one will be very similar. And hopefully you understand this um, in, in an easier manner. So the second one is that we want to yellow fill the color if um, the mirror increase band is greater than uh, the mirror increase recommendation. So here again is the macro code that we're going to use. And then just uh, the same that we need to run a loop from row 10 to row 20 or any rows that you have. And then if G10 um, is smaller or equal to F10, then we move to the next row. But if not, which is where we apply the else, then we need to make sure uh, G10 has an interior color, which is a fill of yellow. And then we end the if, and then we run the next until um, I equals 20. So, uh, um, so the same as the first conditional formatting, I also have the code paste here. I name it as conditional format two uh, in the widow, and I also make sure my button is connected to the conditional format two. And then now, when you see the finger um, here, click on it. Here we go. It's that easy. So this is how we do the second criteria. 
Um, and let's move on to the third criteria, which is that well, if we recommend zero, but then you wanna override to give that person some kind of increase, then we wanna have a black border color to it so that we can uh, review to see if this is reasonable, if we have uh, um, enough budget for it, um, blah, blah, blah. So how do we do that? Uh, we basically, still use similar type of code. It's slightly different here that you see um, the code as we see here. Let me enlarge it so it's easier for you to see. So it's saying that the code is saying that first I want to see if F10 um, is is zero. If F10 is not zero, then I don't need to worry about it. It doesn't apply under the scenario. I just move to the next row. Um, if, and then I have an else if function here, which is saying that, well, if F is equal to F10 equals to zero, but G10 or GI also equals to zero, then it's okay because they're following the guideline. No conditional format is needed. So, which means that, again, I go to the next row. But what if um, those two conditions does not have uh, apply, which means that my fi is zero, is zero uh, but my gi is not, which is the third scenario, then yes, I need to apply a border with the color of black, and my weight is thick which is easier to identify. And then the same, like I need to end my statement, if statement, and I go to the next for the loop. So this is really how uh, we apply the third uh, function. And again, you go to Visual Basics, and then you copy the, uh, the code in here, name it as conditional format three, close it. And then make sure you also assign the uh, right macro, which is macro three. And then, um, yeah, and then make sure you have the finger sign and then click on it. You see, we have one case like this and then we have border, black border, thick black border applied to it. So this is how you can do uh, conditional format on the three scenarios. So now, what if you want to do all three in one? Um, well, basically, you just copy those codes together. Um, and I'm going to show you how we can do that. So this is like the original conditional um, data set we have, like we have all of them. We have the three criteria here. And then basically, um, if you see my code here, I'm basically copying, this is the first part. The only thing you don't need to um, copy is first, like the when you define the um, I as integer as active uh, sheet, and also uh, the end sub, like that's the only thing you don't need to copy in um, the overall code. And then you see actually the first part is what the code we have in the conditional one format. Uh, the second part of code is the from the second one. The third part of code is the is the third. You just copy the three, the three of them in here and name it as conditional format. Um, and then just make sure in the um, bottom, make sure you select the conditional format uh, macro that you want to have and then make sure you have the finger sign so you can click on the bottom. Here you go. So you have the first one with the red text fill, you have the yellow um, cell fill, and then you